I often hear that using a stock screener is the best way to find companies to invest in. But whenever I use a stock screener, I just end up with a long list of companies I've never heard of. WTFC? WTF. There is a better way. In fact, there are three techniques that I use to find great companies to research that I think is much more effective than using a stock screener. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss these three methods and give practical examples about how each was used to kickstart an investment idea. But if you are adamant about using a stock screener, stick around to the end of the video and I'll introduce you to one that you may not have ever heard of before. Hi everyone, I'm Chris and thanks for tuning into our channel where we discuss achieving wealth and financial freedom through a three-part strategy. Earn more, spend less, and invest the rest. A stock screener is a tool that filters through stocks based on the criteria you select in order to build a list of companies that meet that criteria. Now, the problem with this is that as a value investor, you want to understand the companies before you invest. So having a big list of random companies based solely on a few numbers that you set is not the best way to get started. So instead, let's dive in by talking about my three favorite ways to identify wonderful companies to potentially invest in. Number one, invest in what you know. Think about the companies who produce products that you know and love. With these companies, most of your research has already been done for you. You understand the products, you understand their competition, and you understand why you buy their products over the competitors' products. Think about yourself 10 years into the future. Are you still buying these products? Is the company bigger in 10 years than it is today? If you can answer yes to these questions, your investment thesis has already been written. All you have to do is put numbers to the narrative to understand what price you're willing to pay today for this company. And because you understand the company so well, you're gonna have a lot more confidence when you're forecasting these financials out into the future. An example of a company that is always on my watch list is Disney. Growing up in Florida and going to college in Orlando, Disney World was a big part of my childhood. I love the Marvel Universe, I watch sports on ESPN, and I have a wife that can sing every song to every Disney animated movie. I believe that Disney is a wonderful business that will be around for decades to come. The only thing that is left for me to do is to figure out what price I'm willing to pay for their stock. Number two, keep an eye on the news for an investing event. Investing events are things that impact the price of a company, an industry, or the entire market. An example of an investing event that impacted a company would be the E. coli outbreak on Chipotle Mexican Grill, which happened about five or six years ago. The stock dropped from over $700 a share to under $300 per share. This was a serious problem for Chipotle, but it was also a temporary one. And in the five years since, the stock has soared to over $1,900 per share. Industry-wide events are usually due to the fluctuations in commodity prices, impacting the profitability of the companies that produce those commodities like oil and cotton. Then there's a market-wide event, like the one we experienced back in March 2020, or the one we experienced in 2008 during the Great Financial Crisis, or the one in 2000 during the dot-com crash. These events generally happen naturally as part of the business cycle, and one thing you can be assured of is that they will happen again in the future, when nobody knows. These market-wide events create a buying opportunity for patient investors, allowing us to invest in some of the best companies in the world at a deep discount to their intrinsic value. The trick here is determining if this event is a temporary one or a permanent one. And this is why understanding the business or the industry is so important to us as investors. Before I get to number three, let me ask the question of the day. How do you find great investments? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. Number three, Take a look at the 13F filings from your favorite inspirational investors and see what they're buying. I am not recommending that you go out and buy any of these companies without doing your own research, but it is a great place to help you get some ideas for a watch list. These 13F filings are uploaded every quarter to the SEC Edgar website, but there's also a lot of websites out there that will take these 13F filings and present them in a much simpler format. I personally use Dataroma. I'll put links to both these sites in the description below. Looking at what my inspirational investors are buying has led me to many great investment opportunities like Berkshire Hathaway, where Guy Spear and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have sizable positions. Also, Berkshire Hathaway houses the majority of Warren Buffett's $100 billion fortune. The tricky thing about using this method is actually first identifying who your inspirational investors are. The investor needs to be transparent about their process, you need to understand their process, and most importantly, you need to agree with their process. 
I did a short video talking about our top five inspirational investors, and there's a link up in the corner if you wanna see our list. All right, as promised, I told you that I would tell you about a stock screener that can be used, and this one forms a complete systematic investing process, and it is, drum roll please, the magic formula. This is a simplified process of value investing developed by famed value investor Joel Greenblatt, whereby you invest in good companies at low prices, utilizing only two criteria, a high return on invested capital and a low price to earnings ratio. In an upcoming video, we are putting the magic formula to the test by putting $30,000 of our own money into it. We will be walking through the entire process as well as giving monthly updates to track our progress. So please do follow along to see how it's going. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please let me know by hitting the like button or better yet, subscribing to our channel. You can connect with us on our Facebook group or Twitter, and we would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Remember, earn more, spend less, and invest the rest, and we'll see you next time. If you're just getting started in investing and want to take a more passive approach, then check out this video where we buy our first index fund.